Delete, 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 delete. Ah, oh, this is kicking my butt. My name is Emil. I work at a large aerospace and defense company as a ground satellite systems engineer. We have these satellites that are sending down telemetry. And if that telemetry is alarming, we have to sort of come in like the firefighters and try to rectify the situation in order to prevent something really bad happening. Today, I'm playing the Kerbal Space Program and we are making the most ridiculously expensive rocket ever. Let's go. We're at the facility. There's a lot of these guys walking around. What are they doing? They're not actually doing anything. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Oh, I can actually sort by cost. So let's do that. I'm not sure what this currency is. Like, what is this? Okay, so this is not a real currency, which is even better. I won't feel bad about spending money. So let's see what we've got here. We've got fuel tanks. The fuel is actually the most expensive thing on any spacecraft. The more fuel you have and the more weight you have, the more expensive the rocket is gonna be because you have to buy more fuel to push that weight up. I'm gonna put a command pod. All right, I can do whatever I want here. No one can stop me. Cost is our number one thing. Payload really is anything that the spacecraft is carrying. If you wanted to, I don't know, carry a thousand basketballs or something in this space, you could put it in the payload. Liquid fuel engine. All right. What is that, 39,000? Hell yeah. Give it a big little booty right there. There you go. Ah, oh, this is kicking my butt. Delete, 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 delete. They did not teach us this in aerospace engineering classes. Y'all are gonna see me struggle. Oh, too big. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah, keep it together, Emil. Let's have fun with this. Something don't look right here. We're just trying to spend as much money as possible. It doesn't have to be pretty. This thing is really scary. Like, imagine if it was just coming at you, like, Looks like the tallest rocket ever. Can't see, it's so tall I can't even see it. Oh, geez, I accidentally clicked launch. Oh my God. No. I failed my professors, my company, my mother. All right, let's get out of here. All right, there you go. So let's keep working on this mess of a spacecraft here. I think I like that shrimp one, so I'll keep using one of those. I also like shrimp in real life, so it works out. That's four layers of shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah, let's make it look kind of dumb. Okay, cool. Just kind of want it to look good, but dang. There is maybe like 30 or so of these little shrimp solid rocket boosters. And then we have these ginormous uh, boosters as well. Total, we have 13 stages, which is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. I don't think that looks too shabby. I think I'm ready to launch. I'm gonna call it Emil Goes Home. Always felt like I was out of this world growing up. Let's launch this baby and see what happens. At this point, I'm just living for the chaos. Jebediah, Bill, Bob, see you never. Oh no. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. All right, attempt number two. Uh-oh, she's bouncing. All right, let's do this thing. Full throttle, see what happens. Just let it happen. Back to the drawing board. Third time's a charm, right? Failure is not an option. So let's do a quick check on how much this costs. Our goal was to make it as expensive as possible. So it looks like this spacecraft costs 440,830 bucks. So that is a lot of money. Let's test this bad boy out. Valentina. Let's get Valentina safely to space. We gotta do it for her. Three. Two, look, one, look how excited Valentina is. Go! Oh, all right, it is actually going into the sky and not crashing. I gotta say, I'm very pleased. Valentina's kinda, kinda scared, look at her face. Okay, we are in space. Oh, geez, oh, geez. Don't know if Emil's going home, but 
Valentino's having a great time. This is a success. I'm happy with where we're at. I'm good with this. This is good. That was crazy. I've never played a game so difficult in my life. I came in here as an aerospace engineer feeling I was like I was gonna knock it out of the park. You really needed to know your stuff like to the 10th degree. That was like at least three to four times harder than my normal day job. You needed to have a lot of technical knowledge as to the anatomy of what a space shuttle is, what parts go together. It was super difficult, but super rewarding, and I'm so glad I did it. Yeah, this was a great experience, and I'd definitely play again.